In this video, I'm going to show you five of the 18 most important strumming patterns that you can ever know as, an, as a guitarist. Now, I happen to be using my acoustic guitar for this, but these are just as applicable for um, electric guitar as they are for acoustic. So these will work for either one. Basically, what I did is I looked at music in general, and I'm talking about pop and rock and blues and just uh, kind of folk music and even ballads and that kind of thing. And I identified 18 of the most common strumming patterns. And these will help you, once you memorize these strumming patterns, they will help you learn songs faster and easier because you'll be like, hey, you know, I already know that strumming pattern. Then all you have to do is learn the chords because there's actually two sections of our brain going on simultaneously. That is, we've got to learn the chords. Okay, so we have to be able to actually fret and play the chord. Um, and then the other part is we have to actually be able to execute the rhythm. So we have to be able to actually play the rhythm, right? So there's kind of like two independent things. And what I recommend you do is you learn the rhythm first, and then you go back and add the chord. So what I'm going to do on each one of these is show you the strumming pattern, and then I'm going to show you the chords, okay? This is kind of, kind of weird, but if you, if you break these things down in the smallest possible part that you can, it becomes a lot easier to learn. And actually, even though you're kind of like, well, I'm only playing the rhythm and not the chords and the rhythm, you think it might take you longer to, to learn the new song, but actually it's, it's the exact opposite. It takes you less time if you break each component down individually. So let's start out with the first pattern and let me play it for you and then I'll break it down for you, okay? So the first pattern is really simple and we're just gonna use uh, two different chords, a C chord and an A minor chord. And of course, I'm gonna give you the uh, chords for this and the strumming patterns and everything, but I just want to make sure uh, that I you know, identify those chords for you. All right, so here we go. So the first one sounds like this. Okay, that just sounds like a classic kind of folk rhythm, right? That's what you need to know. There's like a million songs with that rhythm. So let's just take it really slowly and let me identify the uh, the symbols that you see in this tab that I've given you here. Okay, you see the thing that looks kind of like an upside down U or like a football helmet? Well, that means a downstroke, okay? When you see the V, that means an upstroke. So I've given you the actual rhythmic uh, downstroke and upstroke here so you'll know exactly which way you should be going, down or up. So this one is very simple, okay? I'm gonna take the chord part out of it, I'm just gonna mute the string and I'm just gonna play the rhythm for you. The first one goes like this. Okay, let me do that slowly for you and tell you which where I'm going, down or up. Here we go. It's down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, again, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Now, let me give you a kind of an insider secret. What you want to do is, I'm not actually playing all six strings on the downstroke and the upstroke. What I'm doing on the downstroke is I'm just catching what we call the bottom strings. The bottom strings are, are the sixth, fifth, and fourth. Then on the top strings, when I'm doing the upstroke, I'm just grabbing the top strings, the first, second, and third string. So it's like this. It's uh, down, when I go down, I'm just hitting the bottom strings, and then on the upstrokes, I'm just catching like, sometimes just the first and second string, and sometimes first, second, and third, okay? So, here it goes, we put it all together, it's... Okay, now on the second one, it's very much like the first, just a little bit different. Let me play it for you once, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so let me count it for you. It's, it's uh, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So really slowly, it would be like this, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, again, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, it's a little bit syncopated, which means there's, you're basically emphasizing the, uh, the offbeat, what we call the offbeat, okay? 
So down, down, up, down, up. And you could tap it like this. Down, down, up, down, up. And that's the way I actually break things down in the very smallest component part, right? So even just tapping, that's even easier than doing the strum, right? So once you can tap it, then you can strum it, then you, then you um, can play the chords, and then you can put it together. And that's actually the way I uh, learn new songs myself. You know, I'll learn the rhythm and then the chords, and then I try to put it together. All right, so that is the second one. Okay, cool. Now we're on to the third most important strumming pattern that I think that you need to know as a guitarist. All right, and let me play it for you and then we'll talk about it. It's going to go like this. Okay, so this one's going to go down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, let me do it really slowly, slowly for you. And by the way, between the measures, uh, basically, the rhythm pattern is going to stay the exact same for each measure on all these exercises I'm showing you, all these different strumming patterns. All you're doing is switching chords. So if you find it difficult to switch chords, just don't switch. Just learn the rhythmic pattern just with one simple chord, and then once you get it, you can practice on moving and switching that chord. So Okay, so here's number three, slowly. It goes down, down, up, up, down, up. And again, remember, on the down strokes, just get like the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings. On the up strokes, you're just gonna grab the top strings. You don't have to go like. Okay, that's kind of hard. Just don't, you know, don't take it too seriously. Just hit the bottom strings and just grab the, the, grab the top strings on the up strokes. So it's down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, let's play it. Let's see, let me play the right chord. Here we go. Okay, for our fourth must-know pattern, it's going to go like this. So this one has a lot of upstrokes, okay? It's a lot of kind of like syncopation, so let's do it kind of slowly. It's down, up up, down, up, down, up. Okay, and do that again. It's down, up, 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 down, up. One more time. It, and actually, I'll go a lot slower this time. It's down, up, 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 down, up. Okay, and then when you put the chords with it, I'll play it slowly. Down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. Up, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. And notice that on those upstrokes, I'm really just kind of grabbing the top two strings. So don't stress out over playing all the strings. Remember, down strokes, just grab the bottom ones. Up strokes, just grab the top. Okay, for our fifth pattern, we're going to move into a different time signature. So the first four patterns that I showed you are in what we call 4-4 four, four time. So there's four beats per measure, and a quarter note gets one beat. So all of the first four patterns are in 4-4. Four, four. This one, we're going to switch it up, and it's going to be 3-4. So we're going to have three quarter notes per measure, and a quarter note is still going to get a beat. It's a very simple, straightforward 3-4 uh, strumming pattern. It's going to sound like this. So it's real simple. It's down, down, up, down, up. That's all it is. Down, down, up, down, up. Okay, so there's three beats of measure. This would be one, two, and three, and. That's the way you would count it. And then remember, this is really important. In this particular one that I'm showing you and I've given you these chords, we're only really playing on the top three strings. So we've got... Simple, and 
and again, I've shown you a couple of, maybe some new chords you're not quite familiar with. They're sus chords called suspended chords at SUS. That's what that stands for, suspended or suspension. So I have a D chord in here. Then I have a D sus, which just means you just lift up that uh, middle finger here. And you're playing basically an, an open E where you usually have an F sharp. And then we have a D sus four where we're having the G where we normally have the F sharp. Okay, so we have the D chord, the sus two, then the D sus four, and then back to the D. And then the rhythm is very straightforward. Classic strumming pattern you need to know as, an, a guitar, as a guitarist. If you dug this video, do me a big favor and click the like button below and post your comment and let me know your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.